Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a specific type of financial statement analysis that you can do with the multi-step income statement, and that is known as the gross profit rate. So let's take a look. Here I show you two pieces of income statement. One is for Dick's Sporting Goods. One is for REI. This is from back in 2018 and 19. And I have up here in the corner that if we want to calculate what's known as the gross profit rate, it is a matter of taking the gross profit of the company and dividing it by the net sales of the company. Now, first of all, the gross profit rate, what is this? Well, first of all, it, it's a profitability ratio. And what I mean by that is it is going to tell you about the profit of the company. And specifically, it's going to tell you about the profit of their product. Notice the components, gross profit over net sales. Let's break that down for a minute. Okay, GPR equals GP over NS, net sales. Gross profit, if you're familiar with how that's calculated on your income statement, is simply net sales minus COGS. And now all of this is over net sales. We are essentially living in the top half of the income statement. We're living in the operating section of the multi-step income statement, and not just the operating section, but the product section. If we look at Dick's Sporting Goods here, notice we have net sales, cost of goods sold, gross profit. We are not using any information below that line. If we look at REI, we've got net sales, cost of sales, gross profit. We're not using any information below that line. This is a ratio to talk specifically about the profitability of the company's product. And bigger is better, because the more profitable you are, the better you are. All right, let's do a little math on this and compare these two. So for Dick's Sporting Good, GPRD for Dick's Sporting Good, their gross profit, and I'm just going to use, um, I guess, uh, 20, oh, what do we say? Let's say 2019. Or I'll just use the most recent year because they, they don't have the same year end. One of them ends on December 2019. One ends on February 2020. So let's just say most recent year. They're comparable fiscal years. Um, for Dick Sporting Goods, we have gross profit of 2554558. I'm just pulling this straight from their income statement. And we have net sales of 8750743. For REI, so GPR, gross profit rate, I'll put an R there for R, REI, they have gross profit of 1407748 over net sales of 3122994. Again, I'm just pulling that straight off of the income statements. So we're going to need a calculator to figure out what this works out to. Um, and since my calculator's over here, I'll just start with REI. 1407748 over 3122994 gives us a rate of approximately 45%. Going over to Dix, 2554558 over 8750743 puts us at a rate of approximately 29%. All right, so what does this tell us about the company? Well, it tells us that the product that Dix sells typically turns a profit on average of 29%, or they are putting a 29% markup when they resell the goods from customers after buying it from a manufacturer. REI, similar story, except they are marking things up 45%. So assuming both businesses are healthy, REI looks like they're better here because they're able to keep a, a bigger chunk of the pie, so to speak. However, on the other hand, you can't take this by itself to determine whether or not a business is truly healthy, because maybe it's REI's markup is higher, but REI is pricing itself out, out of the market. Maybe the sales aren't as good. Now, in this case, if we compare that, look at the net sales of both companies, 8.7 million versus 3.1 million. There is an argument to be made there. Dix doesn't keep as much of the profit. They don't mark it up as much, but their sales are much higher. REI keeps more of the profit, but their sales are lower. 
This really just comes down to company decision. It could be just because Dix is more widespread, has more stores. There's a lot more that goes into it. But on a whole, what this ratio is simply telling you is that relatively speaking, REI marks up their goods more, keeps more profit from those goods. Now, notice here, what could increase or decrease gross profit rate? If you look back at the breakdown of gross profit rate, net sales minus COGS over net sales, Net sales can affect gross profit rate, but net sales is on the top and on the bottom. And so you're affecting numerator and denominator anytime you move net sales. Instead, the true distinguishing thing that affects your gross profit rate is your cost of goods sold, which of course represents the price you paid for the merchandise you are reselling to the customer. The lower you can get your price, the more profit you can make on the resale to the customer at whatever the prevailing market rate is. So cost of goods sold is the main driver of gross profit rate. All right, that's it for gross profit rate. Hope you found this helpful. Hope you join me for another video.